Hi friends, it's Angela here for EllenHudson.com and today I've got a little Valentine's Day inspiration to share. You may have seen the Valentine mailbox hot foil stamps in the latest essentials by Ellen release and we're going to use that set to dress up the happy mail die which came out back in November. This die set cuts out a mailbox that can be used as a gift card holder or a little envelope for a handmade Valentine. I've die cut a couple here and we're going to make two projects. You can see that here that the die cuts score lines that will know exactly where to fold. There's also a flap for the mailbox opening that will allow you to put um, a gift card or a valentine card inside. As far as the other supplies go, I'm going to use a palette of pinks, reds, and blues. I've got a little rouge, some party dress and ballet slipper, as well as some daydream and aqua sky. I also picked out and swatched a handful of Copics and sketch markers and colors that coordinated. And for some beautiful metallic shine, we're going to use some glimmer uh, foil in champagne. So the first step in all of this is going to be to get our foiling done. And keep in mind that the Happy Mail die cuts are going to be folded in half when we assemble them. So I want to choose some hot foil stamps to decorate both the front and the back of the mailbox. I've got my hot foil machine heating up while I prepare the first one, where I'll foil a Happy Valentine's Day on the front and the two lines on the back. Then on the second, I'm going to do a special delivery on the front, the two lines, and then also um, some little postage waves. Next, I want to create a valentine that's going to go inside of each mailbox. And on one of those, I'm using the a envelope hot foil stamp. This is perfectly sized to fit inside the mailbox opening. So I'm foiling on a piece of white cardstock that's a little bigger than I need. And I'll use an essential rectangle to cut it out down to exactly the size that's going to fit inside the mailbox door. Going back to the first gift card holder, I want to decorate this one with stripes. I love a good modern stripe, <laughs> so I'm using the painted stripe stamp set in my Misty for this. You could absolutely keep the stamp in one place and move the gift card holder along as you stamp, but because these stripes have an intentional sort of wonky painted design, I wanted to reposition them in a slightly different way each time. You can see that I'm getting ink on the flap too. That's totally okay um, because I'm just going to fold it in. And then I'm, after I stamp on all the front, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And there we go. Now we need a coordinating valentine and you'll see that I've got one side of it done, but I want to create a matching stripe design on the other side. I'm using one of the thicker painted stripes on a piece of cardstock that is again a little bigger than I need and stamping it in exactly the same way that I did for the mailbox. I'm starting in the middle to make sure that my design is centered, and then I'll come and use the same essential rectangle I used earlier to cut this part of my valentine down to match the size of the other one. I'm using 110 pound cardstock here, which is thick, but I decided to go with this approach rather than stamping directly on the back of my foil valentine card because I didn't want to run the risk of having the ink bleed through, and I also wanted to make it um, closer to the thickness of an actual gift card. With the stripe part of the valentine done, I'm now going to add a few little heart die cuts from the Big Love die set to the middle. And as you'll see, I'm going to layer a piece of champagne cardstock that I made with the Essentials by Ellen press plate underneath to give that heart some shine. The reason I'm cutting the die, um, rather die cutting the heart into the cardstock rather than sticking a die cut on top is because I don't want to run the risk of it catching when the recipient tries to push and pull um, the card out of the mailbox holder. Now I want to make sure that the three layers of my little valentine card sandwich here um, don't come apart and that they're stacked perfectly on top of each other. So how I like to do this is to put some strong um, double-sided adhesive tape along the edges, then add liquid adhesive over that, and this way I have a few seconds to smoosh the cardstock and get the edges perfectly lined up with each other. So there we go, Valentine complete. And I noticed a bit of adhesive goo left behind on from my post-it tape from when I was foiling. So I'm just taking a sand eraser to gently rub that off. Finally, to finish the decorations for project number one, I'm going to glue a few additional hearts on the mailbox. It's nearly time to fold in those edges and stick it all together. 
And note that you're going to want to stick the gift card or your Valentine inside the holder before you seal it up. Otherwise, you're going to have to insert it inside the mailbox door <laughs> and we want the recipient to be the one that opens that. Before we get there though, we also need a flag on our mailbox. So I'm gonna cut two of those from the champagne cardstock that I made earlier, stack them on top of each other for sturdiness, and now we're ready to do our assembly. I'm using my Essentials by Ellen bone, bone folder to crease the edges along the guidelines, adding my champagne foiled flag, and then I want to make sure that the mailbox does not fall apart. So I'm not using liquid adhesive here. You want to use a really nice, strong, double-sided adhesive um, tape for each of the flaps. Now, I made a little mistake here that I'm going to point out so that you don't make it too, and that is the knob on the mailbox. There's a little hole um, where you can tuck a small brad on the mailbox door to form a knob. And just like how we put the valentine inside, you want to add the brad before you seal up the mailbox. Thankfully, with the help of my bone folder and my fingers, <laughs> I was able to sort of squeak that brad in there and then flatten out the back. But don't worry, we will do it properly in our second project, which is coming right up. For this one, we're going to decorate with some images from the Hello I Love You stamp set. You can see that I've already colored and die cut this cute little truck um, that's going to go on the front of my mailbox along with some stamped hearts. I'm using ballet slipper ink for those hearts and I've got the truck in my Misty too, just to help me get the positioning of those heart stamps correct. My ballet slipper ink pad, by the way, is one of my most used, <laughs> and it was a little on the dry side here, so I had to stamp a couple of times just to make sure um, that those images would show up on the camera a little bit better. On the other side, I'm doing the same thing um, with some envelope images in Daydream and a few more hearts, and then I went in with a marker just to give some brighter color to those heart seals. So there we go. Then I'm going to do the same stamped images um, on the Valentine card inside because your girl here loves to be matchy matchy. <laughs> um, coloring in those hearts again with a marker and then I'll adhere um, the two sides of the Valentine card together with some liquid adhesive. And voila, it's done. Back over to the assembly now, I've got my bone folder again creasing the edges of the gift card holder. And this time I am not forgetting <laughs> to add that brad on the mailbox door. I decided that the flag for this project should be cut from Concord and Ninth Peacock cardstock because that is a great match for the Catherine Pooler Daydream ink. And I love that color and I've only used it in small amounts here. So I wanted to incorporate a little bit more. Once I applied my double-sided tape to the flaps and folded them in, all I needed to do was put a little bit of foam tape um, on the back of my truck die cut and then stick it on the front. So there you have it. We've foiled, we've stamped, we've die cut, we've colored, we have done it all. These are just two ways to dress up the Happy Mail die for Valentine's Day. And I hope they've inspired you to send out a few gift cards or your own handmade Valentines or both um, over the coming weeks. For full details, including all the products I've used today and a few extra tips, head over to the Ellen Hudson blog, which I've linked in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell. That way you'll never miss a video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you back here soon. Bye.